at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Halloween Dad Rail Street. Oh, I'll, I'll stop the voice. <laughs> we will be starting in 10 minutes' time doing Train Sim Classic, Huddersfield Route, Manchester to Leeds. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Dead Rail stream. Starting in around about 7 minutes time, please have your drinks and light refreshments ready. And if you know anyone that might enjoy this content, please... The announcements are half working, ladies and gentlemen. We will be starting in five minutes.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. Hello everybody, how is everybody doing? Are you all okay? Can you all hear me loud and clear? Welcome to this Dad Rail stream at long last. We've had uh, a good couple of weeks off from streaming, so it is absolutely brilliant to be back. And to see so many of you lovely people in the chat, who have we got? Northern Princess Productions, who is not here to cause trouble, or possibly here to cause trouble. How are you doing, Emily? Hope you're well. Uh, Harren, Maxwell, JG Photography, Little Jack. LW Rouse, Super Tram, Transport Gamer. Uh, so great to see so many of you lovely people here on this fine, fine Saturday night with my wife walking behind me. Hi. So guys, I have been away, as I'm sure you know, I've been away for the last couple of weeks or the last week or so in um, Portugal, having a jolly good time, I might add. Um, this is me in Porto. <laughs> and those of you who follow me on Twitter will know that I was trying to go train spotting in Portugal, but my wife, pictured there, was having absolutely none of it. But I did eventually get my own way. There we go. Enter on Comento Series 2200. Me in Portugal. Thumbs up for trains. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I think it's about time we get into the stream and play a little bit of Train Sim Classic. Before we jump in, and as always, I've got to tell you that all the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own, and less otherwise stated, and may not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with, and all of that good stuff. Northern Princess Productions, I am a complete part-timer. <laughs> I cannot argue with that one. So we're going to be doing um, the Train Sim Classic new Huddersfield route. So I've got to tell you that Dovetail Games have sent me this route completely free of charge, but all the views and opinions are my own. I'm under absolutely no... Um, no obligation to sort of tell you it's great when it isn't or that sort of thing. So reading through the Steam reviews on this, there's a lot of negative reviews on this route, so I'm I'm kind of not too sure what to expect. Um, I think they have some teething trouble when it was released with some of the scenarios not showing and the 158 not being in it. So I believe that might be the cause of the, the negative reviews. So I'm going to have a little playthrough and um, kind of see what we make of it. So let's 
press this button here. Wee! All being well, we are in Train Sim Classic. Let's put a little bit of audio on the screen so you can see what's going on there. So we're going to be playing the Class 158 Regional Railways. Uh, I understand this is the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 158, which has been packaged with the Huddersfield route. Um, which is kind of why I want to play this, because I, I quite like some of the Armstrong Powerhouse add-ons. And to get one packaged as default with a route is always a win. So what have we got here route-wise? Um, we got a one hour run here, 60 minute run there. We're going to jump in and do that one because I'm having a Chinese after this stream. And if it goes on for too long, I won't get a Chinese. <laughs> fat Richard got to eat. Hashtag Fat Richard. So, we're going to jump into that one. We are going to press start. And we are going to hope for the best. So, what is going on in the chat? Little Jack, this is my local route. Fantastic. Rafe the train spotter, hello, how you doing? Magic Killer, good evening from my last night in Marmaris. Ah, oh, down in Turkey. Fantastic. Lucky you. Hope it's nice and warm for you down there. Uh, Maxwell, Dad Rail, usual features. Absolutely, Maxwell. We will be having all of our usual features. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. We will be playing Locomotive Livery Location. Of course, today's picture has been provided by a train spotter from Berkshire. A lot of people moaning I was doing too much in Cornwall, so this one is not in Cornwall. <laughs> that, uh... That I can promise. We will play that. We'll start our first round of that in just a few minutes' time. And of course, we will be jumping in and out of the Discord server. Hopefully, this is going to work. Well, hey, and we are in the live stream pictures page. So, yeah, all the usual features, as you rightly say, Max. And probably tea and biscuits with the manager at least half a dozen times. So, guys, good morning, driver. Today you'll be the Today you'll be operating this six car class 158 service from Manchester, Victoria to Leeds. More information is available in your briefing. Um, on a lovely clear summer morning, operate this semi-fast regional railways Transpennine service between Manchester and Leeds. Owing to engineering works, this service is starting from Manchester, Victoria instead of Manchester, Piccadilly. Please be aware of workmen on the track in the Manchester, Victoria and Slathwaite area. I probably pronounced that wrong there, haven't I? We are calling at Manchester, Victoria, Staleybridge, Huddersfield, Dewsbury and Leeds. Don't like the term workman. Work person, that should be. Right, let's try and get this train set up. Let's see how we get on with this uh, little 158 type thing. So, key on. That's always a good start. We're going to neutral. Give the AWS a little cancel. Let's get some illumination. Illumination! Okay, we've got a clear signal because so we can reset our DRA. Uh, and we've got some instrument lights down here, I believe. So, yeah, instrument lights there. Um, cab lights we don't need on at the moment. And we need to get our doors open, which is T because we are on Train Sim Classic. Let's jump outside and have a little look around. So we have got pacers. And they actually look pretty nice. They do not look too bad at all. That 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 looks pretty nice. Sam Brooks, can you turn the game up? Yeah, no worries, Sam. Um Game audio should now be on. Sorry, my bad. I did I did turn it on and then I it turned itself off again. We are experiencing technical difficulties and we are five minutes into the stream. Superb. Superb. So let's jump in the cab and wait for departure. It's pronounced sleigh weight. Slave weight. Thank you, England Bull. Pig and Bog, hello, I'm late as I actually get accidentally got rid of the YouTube app. No worries, Pig and Bog. Great to have you here. Uh, Sam, yeah, hopefully the game volume is okay now. Do let me know um, when we get going if you want it up a bit. That's not a problem at all. Maxwell says it's a little bit loud. Everyone's saying it's too loud now. Okay. We'll knock the game volume down a tad. Every time I knock the game volume down, it kicks me out of train sim. Very loud. Game audio is loud. Let's take it down a bit more. Let me know now, guys, if the game engine or game game audio is okay. Uh, Jonathan, can you put in the destination code? I don't believe you can, but the PIS is working. So we've got Hull up there, which is correct. Um, you can change it on here as well. Um, 
enter number. Oh, crikey. Uh, <laughs> you can put the destination code in. I've got no idea what it is. Invalid destination. Oh, dear. We broke it. Does it say in the brief? 01. Is that it there? Let's try it. 01. Zero, one, enter. No, we broke it. Zero, zero, one, enter. Invalid destination. Okay, right. Yeah, you can put the destination in. Right, we are late. Let's get going. So, into forward. Um, train Sim Classic. I'm not going to try and remember the controls on this one. Okay, there we go. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? We are moving. Volume up a bit. Hopefully we can get we can get this volume issue balanced out. Let's open the side window as well. See if that helps at all. Right, 40 mile an hour leaving Manchester Victoria. We are off. Keith Jones, when you set off from Manchester, Victoria, you go up a very steep brew called Miles Platting. Freight trains, are, freight trains are banned from going up it, but are allowed to go down it. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Keith. It's good to know. Right, perfect. Volume looks like it's perfect. New Railway says it's that's good. Lewis says perfect. Fantastic. Oh, we're racing a pacer. We have to race this pacer. Come on, come on, come on. We're throttling up. We're in notch seven. Come on. We cannot be beaten by a pacer. That That is not a thing. Oh, we're going. We're going to take it. We're going to take it. Oh, yes. We're taking the pacer. We have to wave to the driver as we go past. Right, so what are we doing in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Dad Rao, the code is 122. I read it from the manual, the AP manual, JG Photography. Thank you very much. Right, uh, we'll back the power off because we're currently in a 40. Or we are going up to 50, actually, so we'll leave it in. Uh, code 120. 120. That's going to come up. Lincoln. Oh, 122, sorry. So we New Railway says it's 120. JG Photography says 122. Let's go with 122. 122, enter. Are we going to get it? Manchester Airport. Come on, guys. You're letting me down. Nobody's got the right code. Yeah, this is quite a steep gradient coming out of here. I mean, we're in notch 7. Um... And we're sort of struggling to maintain speed. We are gaining a little bit. But yeah, I can see that is a really steep gradient coming out of there. That, that's quite severe. Uh, well, there's a 30 coming up though. We should probably get some brakes in for that. I see it. I'm losing points already. Right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll take that. Um... Magic Killer, I start my job as a trainee freight driver on Tuesday. Any advice for a newbie? Congratulations, bud. Excellent. Um, listen to everything you're told and ask questions would, would, be, would be my advice. If you're not sure about anything, ask. Uh, in my experience, the training tends to be very, very good on the railway in general. Remember, safety, safety, safety. Always safety. Safety first every time. Um, and on driver's rules, the answer is nearly always contact signaller. If there's any signalers or drivers in, you'll know exactly what I mean. Right, 60 up to 70. We are six miles from Staley Bridge. Right, everyone's spamming codes. <laughs> Supertram, one, two, three. Everyone's got different opinions here. Hey, Lee Cushing, welcome to Davrao, new subscriber. Um, everyone's got n different opinions on what code we should be putting in. 119 seems to be a popular one. Let, let's go with 119. 119. Leeds. 
Uh, we only take it as far as Leeds, but the train is going to Hull. So we'll pretend it's terminating early and we'll stick with that. We'll take that one. We'll take that. Northern Princess Productions. 120 is the answer according to the AP manual. Yeah, 120 gave us something completely different. So whether it's been changed, um, I don't know. Ah, uh, magic killer, no worries. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what sort of. Um, I assumed you were coming in off the street, bud. But yeah, there's. I always say to people with driving, there's, there's a lot to know, but there's nothing that's rocket science. It's, it's quantity over quality. So you've got a lot of, a lot of rules, but there's nothing that's difficult. Um, it's just remembering everything, really. Hey, Dare Rail, new here. Hello, hello, welcome. Uh, Eliza, we're trying to work out what the correct route code, route code is for hole in the um, destination display here, which is report, repeated on the front of the train. We're, we're going to stick with leads for the minute. Um, scroll to it by pressing and holding F7. Yeah, I forgot we could do that. There we go, hull. Thank you very much, Northern Princess Productions. Uh, should we get some power in as well, because we're good for 75? Can you look at the route map? Uh... <laughs> yeah, if I can remember what button does the route map, because we're on Train Sim Classic, aren't we? I thought it was 9. It is 9. There we go. Yeah, so we are over here. Where are we? Centre on player. So Staley Bridge, and we've got, yeah, <laughs> I'm really terrible when it comes to looking at the map. Quite a long route though, quite a long route. Daryl, good evening to all, hope all good, let's enjoy on the stream, hopefully we can. This is my first stream in a, in a couple of weeks, so I'm a little bit rusty. But we are a few minutes in and we've not had tea and biscuits with the manager, so that is a good thing. We also have not played Locomotive Location Livery yet, have we? Let's put that right. Post your numbers now for Locomotive Livery Location. I do kind of feel that as it's, a, as it's kind of a, a sort of bodged together Halloween stream, that instead of using the Locomotive Location Livery jingle, we should kind of use something different. Maybe just for today, we'll use the werewolf instead. Dan's diggers, yeah, Portugal was okay. It, it was a bit wet, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but we had a good time. That's all that matters. Howard Spanger, hi Debra, love the content. New to the channel. Can you explain what the train livery is, please, as I'm new to trains in more detail? So, the train livery is the colours that it's painted in. So, this is a regional railways livery, um, which is a company that no longer exists in the UK. So, what are we doing numbers wise, guys? Do, 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 do. Ben P. No, oh, sorry, my apologies. LW Rail. You are the third number on my screen with number two. Let's play. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Okay, guys, if you haven't seen this game before, I am going to give you box number two. You've got ten seconds to give me the locomotive, location, and livery. Here we go. There's the potential from there's the potential for location from that box. Let me know your thoughts on that. So while you were playing, I did successfully slow the train down for the 60 mile an hour restriction that we're just passing. Got a 35 coming up, then we are into Staley Bridge, and we are a six car train. We will be heading for the S car mark. Maxwell says it's London somewhere. Uh, Howard, no worries. Uh, Northern Princess Productions, Regional Railways was British Rail's regional trains brand. I think uh, RB, RBER trains in Germany. 
Sam Brooks and Pancras. Uh, England Bull Reading. Rowan plays. Not sure. LW Round. No idea. Have a guess. Have a guess. Oh, breaks for the 35. Come on. Come on. Come on. 36. I'll take it. It's close enough. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Super Tram, don't overrun. The pressure is on. Let's try not to overrun the platform. Uh, we're coming in at 30 miles an hour, so I do over if I do overrun it, that is pretty bad. Okay, let's get some break in. I'm gonna <laughs> now I've said that I'm gonna overrun it. Dan Diggers went in a 395 cab for the first time uh, on HS1, passing on duty. Loved it, excellent. Yeah, the cabs on those are humongous, Dan. They're but they're really nice. Height of driver's luxury, they are. Okay, the brakes are not too sharp on this. We're in brake step two. Uh, there's our S car mark. Leaving it in brake step two. We're going to come back to one for the final stop. Back to one. Oh, we're going to have to release it. Ah, oh, that's not bad. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Although that does say 185 S car stop marker. See, this is really, really backwards because in all other trains that I've driven, when the blue light is on, it confirms you've got a door interlock, that the doors are actually closed. So it says here, doors released when lit, which is which is really quite backwards and confusing. Um, but that's what it says, so that's what we go with. We're taking the stop though, that wasn't too bad. Uh, Rafe the train spotter, the Richard, the clocks go back one hour. They do indeed, yeah, everybody. Is it one o'clock in the morning the clocks go back? Uh, is it two o'clock in the morning the clocks go back? Sorry, Mum Ralph says it's two o'clock in the morning. Guys, how do I repeat the guards buzzer back on here? What button do I need to press to repeat the guards buzzer back? Because I feel quite rude for not doing it. Jonathan Grubb, would it be possible to go over driving technique when approaching double yellow, single yellow and red aspects? So yeah, Jonathan, when we're running on restrictive aspects, we practice something known as defensive driving. Um, which is basically what it says it is. You're driving in a defensive way rather than um, an aggressive way. So if I sight two yellow signals in the distance, or one yellow or a red, I'm I, what I want to do is take positive action in the cab. So rather than seeing the two yellows and doing nothing, I want to make sure I do something on sighting it. So when I see the two yellows, I want to slow the I want I want to take the power off or put the brake on or make a positive action in the cab. We don't go rushing around when we're running on on two yellows. Um, when we're running on we call them cautionary aspects. When we're running on cautionary aspects, so. The idea is on cautionary aspects, you're, you're driving defensively, you're driving slowly. If you see yellow signals, get the speed down. Um, we have a bit of a saying as drivers, green signals, green signals are my time and yellow signals are their time. So there's no kind of set speed that you go past two yellows or one yellow because signals are different distances apart depending on line speeds and the location you're at. Um, some companies will mandate that when you approach a red signal, you don't go over the AWS magnet any more than a certain speed. For most passenger companies, that's 20 miles an hour. and most freight companies, that's 10 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, the, the, the idea is as soon as you see a two yellows or one yellow, take positive action, shut the power off, get the brake in, um, and just drive in a defensive. We, what we say is a red light is a brick wall, and we don't run towards brick walls. So... You know, you can't go any further than the red light. That is where you've got to stop. Do not rush towards it. Um, rushing to, if, you know, you could be rushing towards it. You could have a situation where you get low railhead adhesion and the train starts slipping. Uh, then you go past the red. You could have a unit that's got dodgy brakes and you go past the red. So, you know, take take that extra distance, that space you've got. Make a brake application, slow the train down. Um, don't rush towards red signals. Uh, Maxwell, it's not B or N. Um, what have we got? C, Jonathan says. Oh, there we go. I can repeat back to the guard. I, don't, I no longer feel rude. I 
New railway in train strikes. Can you choose to work or is everyone off and not working? So, uh, in my company, we are not in dispute with the company. So, therefore, um, drivers and all staff in my company have not been striking um, because we're not required to because we, we're not in dispute with the union. Um, if, you're, if you do work for a company that has been called out to strike, you don't need to strike. It's, it is completely and utterly optional as to whether you strike or not. You've got some members of staff who will not be members of the union, um, therefore won't strike. And even sometimes union members will choose not to strike. It is, it is down to the individual. Um, the whole idea of being in the union though is you're supposed to stick together. So what can sometimes happen is if you're a union member and everyone else goes out on strike and you don't, your colleagues can sometimes get um, a little bit upset with you, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it, it's not mandatory. It's absolutely not mandatory. Uh, David, yeah, this is the Armstrong Powerhouse 158. It's uh, it's included as it's included as standard in the um, in the Huddersfield route. So one of the things noted in the steam reviews online is that the corners go round a little bit and then straighten up a bit like we're doing now. Anyone that knows the route, I, someone in earlier said it was their local route. Um, anyone knows the route is that prototypical I mean I don't see that you know it, it could well be sort of go around the little corner here a little bit straight round the corner again a little bit straight round the corner again is that as it is in real life I'd be quite interested to know because there's people complaining about that in the um, people complaining about that in the reviews so yeah I'd, I'd be interested to know if that is if that is how it is in real life. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, Sam Brooks, how do you mean God's buzzer used for anything other than TRT? Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry. I was reading. T <coughs> <coughs> sorry, Dad Rouse got COVID. I haven't. <laughs> Don't say it. I'm being told off now. Uh, yeah, so I read TPWS, not TRTS. Yeah, there are a list of bell buzzer codes somewhere. Um, they're not listed in the cab, and I don't drive passenger trains anymore, so I've got to try and remember them. Um, but typically, yeah, two on the buzzer is right away, but there are other codes, like uh, nine on the buzzer is requesting the emergency services. Um, then you've got codes for slow down, draw forward, set back. So there, there are numerous um, guard buzzer codes. Um, closed doors, release doors, yeah, they're... they're I used to know them all when I was driving passenger trains, but they seem to have slipped my memory. So I'd have to go back to the rule book and double check them. Uh, one on the one on the guards buzzer. If you got that, that would be stop. But yeah, um, police assistance required was always an interesting one because uh, that's nine. So. Yes, yeah, so if you got that, that's like police assistance required. Um, there are special codes as well for driver leaving the train in accordance with the rules. T to be fair, the bell buzzer codes are only normally used for um, right of way these days because we have um, cab to cab communication uh, via telephone. So what would normally happen is the guard will just pick up the phone and speak to you. So yeah, it's uh, it is still there and available, but not really that that commonly used. Northern Princess Production, it's bad track laying in train sim, that's what it is. So it's not like that in real life. Uh, Mr. Quicko does not seem realistic. Rowan Place, no, it's not like that in real life. Okay, that's, that's yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Seems like quite a simple thing to get right as well. Yeah, Magic Killer, most I used as a guard was 1-2 to close the doors and 2 for right of way when working 2 to ones Yeah, we used to do that very occasionally. We used to call it 10 bell dispatch. Because um, obviously with the with the driver reporting back, you've got 10 bells in total. Yeah, those corners are, are pretty awful there, aren't they? Thing, yeah, Nor as Northern Princess Production says there, the thing is, 9 buzzes if you're being threatened with a knife is a long buzz, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Would, would you would you mind just waiting there? Don't stab me yet. I've just got to give nine buzzes. Right, so I'm just going to shut the power off. We've got a 60 coming up and then a 15. Straight after. Okay. Uh, what's happening with that? Is that a temporary 15? I can't see on the HUD there. That looks a bit weird. 
We certainly shouldn't be going from this speed to 15 without some sort of warning. Let's just kind of run towards it and see what happens. So we've got 101 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be brilliant. So there is the 60. Um, and the 50 is just... I guess the 50 there is... Com uh, 15, sorry. Uh, is coming off the point work. That's what I would imagine. So yeah, that's... As someone just said, that is a bug. Uh, who, who just said it was a bug? A little jack. Hey, Daily Transport, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Rafe the train spotter. Richard, do you hear loads of trains blow their horn to the network rail staff? Uh, how do you mean, Rafe? So if you've got if you've got track workers on the track, then as a driver you should sound a warning horn, so two tones. We are going. We're doing quite well. Nice long tunnel, this one. We are nine miles away from Huddersfield. So, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Getting some Halloween sound effects in there. I've got to use them. I've got to use them. Come on, we are accelerating. Was that a 47 coming the other way? Hey, Nathan's Trains, welcome to Dad Row, new subscriber. Alfie Stitch 626, Lilo and Stitch, Una and Stitch. That's the longest username so far. What's your favourite cross country express train? If we're talking cross country, it's got to be an HST. It has to be an HST. I, mean, I, I do like Voyagers, I am a fan of Voyagers, but. It's got to be an HST for me. So I'm guessing that warning ball was for the 45 which is coming up. We shall get slowed down for the 45 and then we'll do locomotive location livery. Remembering that the brakes on the 158 are... They're not the worst by any stretch of the imagination, but they're, they're not the sharpest I've driven. Yeah, it's looking good. Might need a little bit more brake just to squeeze that down for the 45. I'm guessing that's going to start as we come out the tunnel. 47, 46. And we'll release it there. Oh, that was bang on. Do you know what? That was so good. Could you give myself a round of applause? Okay, guys, right. Uh, GJ Barnard, you're the third number on my screen with number 20. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you number 20. You've got 10 seconds to give me the locomotive livery and location. That's, that's a good reveal, that. Oh, fireworks, oh my god. That's a good reveal. What are you thinking? Do let me know what you are thinking. JG Photography. Voyagers are comfortable, but they stink. Eliza, standing ovation for the perfect break. I'm taking that. That's tea and biscuits for the manager in a positive way. We should, oh, we're going down here as well now. Nice 70. Supertram says pass. Jonathan says class 37. Pig and Bob says 37. Daily Transport says it's a 37. LWL, Little Jack, Rowan plays David 2008, all saying 37. As is JG Photography, Jard Matt Muir, Muir, GJ Barnard. Railways etc. says class 36. Is that a typo? Northern Princess Production says 37099. Not sure where. Railways etc. class 37. 
Lots of love for the Class 37. That was a good little reveal, that one. Any ideas on that location? 37099 Reading Triangle Siding Pig and Ball. We'll play again in a few moments' time. So, going downhill quite steeply as we're doing, I'm going to shut the power back about now. What we don't want to be doing is getting up to, obviously the speed limit is 85, you can see that down the bottom. What we don't want to be doing is getting up to 85 and then putting the brakes on and releasing it. Putting the brakes on and releasing it. Putting the brakes on and releasing it. It's not very comfortable for the passengers and it's not very good sort of wear and tear on the unit. So what I've done there is I've shut off quite early and I'm just going to let the train pick up on the gradient. Um, and then when we get to 85 I'll put the brakes on, reduce the train speed by about 10 mile an hour um, and then let it roll a bit more. So yeah, we, we're not kind of... I mean, if you're running late, you might want to sort of stay hard on the 85 and just keep putting the brakes on as we go down. But it's, it's not really a very good way to drive. Um, we let the train take the strain. Hey, Kev5565, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, Kev5565, the cab looks claustrophobic. I always wonder if it hinders visibility. Yeah, to be fair, I, I've never driven a 158 in real life. B-way stuff. I've never driven a 158 in real life, but the, the cab does look pretty claustrophobic. It is quite a small cab, um, to be fair. So yeah, I think visibility-wise it'd be okay, but it, yeah, it is, it is a small cramped cab. Uh, Rowan plays, what would you do if the track workers don't put their hand up when you sound the horn? Um, officially, what we're going to do is we're going to sound an urgent warning horn, which is a series of short blasts on the high tone of the horn. So. And if I still don't get any response from them, depending on... That's one of those situations you're going to judge it on its merit. If they're standing in the forefoot directly in front of the train, not moving out of the way then I'm going to slam the emergency brakes on. However, if they're sort of on the hill somewhere on the side of the track and they're not in danger, um, I might just kind of give them a load of abuse as I drive past for not sticking their hand up, but not sort of worry about it too much. So that that's kind of, I, I wouldn't give anyone abuse, let me just put that out there. Um, that's one of the, those things you're going to just judge on its merit, really. But you would you would expect on on sounding the, the, the horn, you would expect people to move to a position of safety and then hold one hand above their head to acknowledge it. So, speed still running up a little bit. We've got a 70 down the bottom of the bank. A little Jack, let's have a Dad Ralph fly pass. Uh, now you're asking because we are playing Train Sim Classic, and I've got no idea how it works on Train Sim Classic. <laughs> I don't know the controls. I don't know the controls. Why am I slowing down so quickly? <laughs> I, I, I think the flyby shot there has tripped something. Brakes are hard on. Joe Cornelius, welcome to Dad Row. You join us at a sombre moment. It was all going so well. Then Little Jack requested a fly past shot. And being a good driver, I obliged. And something happened. An AWS or something else has happened. Causing the train to stop. Oh no, 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 no. It's letting me go. I hang my head in shame. But little Jack, I feel that that was your fault and not mine. I don't want to take that one. It's what you get for trying to oblige the public, you see. Uh, Sam Brooks, at a whistle board, is officially low tone only between the hours of 6am and midnight. You do not sound the horn after midnight and before 6am. Um, it's officially low tone only, but lots of drivers, myself included, do sound um, two tones, which is a warning horn. So yeah, lo low tone only is the, is the official stance on it. Right, we are 1.3 miles from Huddersfield. Lots of speed restrictions coming up. Wow. Um, I think 
there we go. Warning for 35. Yeah, let's shut the power off there. And see if we can get into Huddersfield without too much drama. Jack Newell, good evening. Great to see a Class 158, one of my favourite trains. To be uh, honest with you, Jack, we sometimes get jobs where we, um, if I'm going to Eastleigh or Southampton, we sometimes get jobs where we pass from London down to Eastleigh. Um, and if I can, I'll try and get the 158 or 159 down as far as Basingstoke. Because I just think they're a lot, you know, I think they're really comfortable units to ride. I, I, I am a fan of them. They've got ridiculously narrow doors, though. Um, but, but generally, I am a fan of them. I, I do like them. Right, are we going to get a perfect braking for this 35? We're nice and light. We're in brake step one only at the moment. Atomic Frog Trains. Great username. Oh, we've got a platform eight. Green and an eight. Okay. Right, we're down for the 35. There's a 25 just after that. And we're straight into Huddersfield. A little bit more brake. We are a six car train. 25 on the 25. This is going well, guys. This is an offside door release. Someone was saying earlier about the visibility. This is where you get your visibility problems. Um, because you lose a lot of visibility on the offside. Because of the, um, the corridor connection and stuff in the middle. So this does become a bit of a problem. See, monitors disappearing there. If we look to the side... Uh, we're not going to see it, are we? But yeah, you, you do lose... Um, quite a lot. So that's the free car mark. That's the four car mark. Um, that's a five and six at the end. We'll aim for that. Yeah. See, it's quite it's quite difficult on that offside there. We we lose so much on the offside. There should be a lamp post coming up. Have we gone past it? We must have gone past it. We are stopped at Huddersfield. Let's get those doors open. Yeah, I've sailed miles past it, look. Yeah, see if we look in the cab there, I can literally see just that tiny bit at the end of the platform there on the right. But if we go to the external view, you can see I am literally miles off the end of the platform. So you've lost all of that visibility. So there is a, there is a bit of a visibility issue there for sure. Little Jack, 25p for a perfect stop. Uh, Harren, no worries. Thank you for joining us. Hope your headache feels better soon. Boeing 82, can you talk about railway detonators? I can do. Yeah, railway detonators go bang. Um, so, <laughs> Mum Rao's laughing at that comment. So, little round things, which are you'll find in the cab of each train. They should be, they should be in packs of 10, and they should be sealed. And we use them as uh, during emergency protection. We're off to Dewsbury. Let's get the train moving and I will continue to answer that question. We use them during emergency protection situations. So if there's been an emergency on the track and you need to stop trains in an emergency, um, you can place detonators down on the track at certain distances and certain locations. Um, they're also used when you're, when or if your train breaks down and you need, uh, you need another train to assist you. So I realised I didn't give two back on the guards buzzer as well there. Um, yeah, so if you break down and you need another train to assist you, then you'd place detonators down before your train. Um, also, if you're doing what's known as T-free possessions, um, which are engineering possessions, you use detonators to protect engineering possessions. So they are used for a wide variety of um, reasons. You don't run over detonators, generally speaking. If you run over a detonator and you're not expecting it, that's a stop the train, contact the signal kind of, kind of moment. Um, the only time you do run over detonators is when you're... Um, assisting a failed train. So if our train was to break down now, I'd need to go out on the track, place detonators down, another train would either come onto the front or the back of us, but they would actually run over those detonators. And they go bang! Um, I had an incident, without going into too much detail because I don't think I can, I had an incident um, a little while ago where I had to go and assist a failed train at Tulse Hill, uh, which is kind of in South London. And we put detonators down, it was just after midnight in South London, Tulse Hill, run over them and about 30 seconds later there were police sirens everywhere. 
because they, they sound like gunshots going off. They are mega loud. They really are. Oh, right. Who have we got in the chat? What's going on? Uh, Fabian. Yeah, we were saying the cab does feel a little, little bit cosy. Little Jack 25p. I've done that one, haven't I? Um, yeah, Kev 5565. Yeah, they most definitely do, do still use detonators. Um, part of your cab prep is to check that they're all present, correct, and in date. Um, Howard, how would you? How would a driver overcome the visibility issue? That would just be driving cautiously, going slow. Um, you, you'd get quite used to it as well, not having the visibility on that side. And you sort of get used to. It's a bit weird and sort of hard to explain, but you, you get used to the the distance that you sort of go blind there. So yeah, it's just one of just something you get used to, really. Um, the trains are all tested and approved for the routes they drive, so you shouldn't really have any problems with visibility on signals. But if you weren't entirely sure, you stop your train, get up, walk to the other side, and, and look out the window on the um, the instructor's side. Uh, David, two thousand and eight. I have probably driven both of those. I don't I don't actually keep notes of the locomotives I've driven and I haven't driven. Um, I know a few drivers do, but it's just it's just not something I've ever done. So the chances are I have driven both of those. Uh, William Train Mad Boy, how are you? Good evening to you too. Uh, Rafe lives not far from the GSMR Towers. Uh, DET Trains, no worries, great to have you here. Uh, Keith Jones also used when signal boxes close in celebration. Yeah, guys, if you want to know what detonators sound like when they when they blow up, there's a great video on YouTube. Um, wait till the stream's finished, please. <laughs> there's a great video on YouTube, and um, it's a guy in Australia. I think it's a driver in Australia who's retiring, and his colleagues have basically put about 500 debts on the track, and he just runs them all over coming into the station, and it, 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 it sounds epic. It sounds epic. Dadra, what is the most stinkiest working you have ever done? Um, normally any train after I've had a curry. <laughs> uh, Northern Princess Productions, PTS question. Which side of the track do you place a track circuit operating clip on first in third rail country? I know the answer. Should I give everyone else a couple of seconds? PTS question. If you're in a third rail area and you are applying track circuit operating clips, to what rail do you apply them first? Hey Connor, how are you doing? Little Jack, my brother Joe wants a shout out. Hello little, Brax, little Jack's brother Joe, you are shouted out. I met Francis Bourgeois at his book signing today. Oh, excellent. Has anyone seen the um, YouTube series that he's done with celebrities? Um, it's like a Channel 4 series or something like that on YouTube. I've, I've yet to watch it, but I keep meaning to. Uh, William Train Mad Boy, what does code ZW on trains mean? Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm being honest with you. That speedball did say 75, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, Dewsbury is in three and a bit miles. Let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Do, 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 do. Sam Brooks, what happens if you stop on an AWS magnet? If you stop your train on an AWS magnet, you will be unable to cancel the AWS. Um, which means the emergency brakes will come on and you will be unable to release them. So the ways around that are you either isolate the AWS, move the train forward, then reinstate the AWS, um, or, because a lot of companies don't like you isolating safety systems, and on some modern trains like the Electrostar, for example, once the safety system's been isolated, it can only be reinstated by a fitter. Um, so the other alternative would be to change ends, get in the other end of the train, if you're on a multiple unit, move it back a couple of feet, key off, walk down the front again, and you're off the magnet. Rowan Place, how often do you see train spotters? All the time, Rowan Place. I love seeing people out and about on the track, I always give them blow me horn as well at them. All the time. 
I did see... Sorry, there's a lot of people in tonight. There's a lot of chat going on. Um, Keza, Northern Princess Productions. It be on the furthest rail from the third rail first. That is correct. I think I saw someone else post that as well. So yeah, track circuit operating clips in the third rail area. You would place them on the furthest rail from the third rail. The reason is that the wire between the clips is not long enough to make contact with the third rail. So if you place it on the rail furthest from the third rail, um, you then won't inadvertently touch the third rail with it. Because the wire is not long enough to allow you to do that. So, two flashing yellows. We're going to take some positive action. Get a little bit of break in. We are going to play locomotive location livery. And it will be William Train Mad Boy with number four. I got very panicky then. I thought that was the station coming up. Um, I'm expecting my next signal to be one flashing yellow. There we go, one flashing yellow. So I'm expecting my next signal to be one yellow with a junction indicator. And it's going to be for a 40, as the warning board says there. So because we got flashing yellows, we know that we're going to have the junction indicator with the next signal. We know that we have to slow down to 40. Um, looks like we got a little bit of distance there. So we'll play locomotive location livery. Let's play locomotive livery location. Number four, guys. Ten seconds. Locomotive location livery. Sky. Bit of platform canopy as well. Let me know your thoughts. So there we go. One static yellow with a junction indicator. Because it's one yellow, even though we've had flashing yellows, that signal is still a one yellow. So I'm still expecting my next signal to be red. Now, not having route knowledge, I don't know where my next signal is. So I'm going to drive a lot slower um, than what I otherwise would. So there's my red signal, red ahead. And we want to aim to pass over the AWS magnet at no more than 20 miles an hour. Um, again, it will depend on your individual company driving policy as to uh, what they mandate for that. We are going to be going over the points, though, as we know. So it looks like my next signal is actually green. So we did have the junction. We had the position one junction indicator on the previous signal. There we go. We are a six-car train. We are heading for the six-car mark. We try very, very, very hard not to overrun the platform. Break step two. Come on, three, four. Where's our six? Have we got a six? We got a six-car mark right at the end of the platform there. We're slowly creeping up to that. Not slowly enough, apparently. Back to one for the stop. And I'll take it. This into neutral, which I haven't done today. It will take me foot off the DSD pedal then. And open the doors. Uh, Oliver's Trains, I know this route fairly well as I was in Murfield train spotting earlier. Excellent. Uh, Jonathan, 37 Birmingham New Street. Sorry, no. Johnny Simulator Gaming says 37 Birmingham New Street. Uh, David says 37 at Euston. Jonathan says 37 at Leeds. Eagle House Waste Services, hello. Welcome to the stream. Rafe, if someone is not behind the yellow line, what would you do? Um, normally just give a little blast on the horn or something like that, Rafe, just to kind of remind them in a, in a friendly manner, just to move back. Okay, I'm going to remember... To repeat the, the, the repeat the thing back. Going to forward it might help. Right, we're off. It's moving. We are off to Leeds, which is our final destination.
uh, railways, etc. Have you ever been offered or told to drive a network rail train? I've driven the network rail um, instrument measurement train, the, the track me measuring train. And I've driven the network rail railhead treatment trains as well, which are technically network rail trains. Colin Richards, hi Deborah. Yesterday I went on some class 313s. I know they're being retired soon, so I thought I would ride some while I still can. Was it you, Connor, that I bumped into on the platform at Brighton yesterday? Um, I took a free. I took a seventy-three to Brighton yesterday. So, right, let's get going. Litter by the side. No, it's a flower. It looks like litter by the side of the track. Then, uh, Mark Simpson. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, DET trains forty-three. Why does the third rail keep switching sides? Um, there's two reasons for that, DET trains. One is to is to ensure even shoe wear. Sh one, the first reason is to ensure that the shoe gear the shoe gear wears evenly on both sides of the train. Um, the other is just due to infrastructure constraints. So, you know, idealistically, we always want the um, the third rail on the right hand side. Um, some, but if you've got like point motors and you've got signalling equipment there, it might have to go down the left-hand side. It is, it is purely just to do with sort of infrastructure reasons. And by constantly swapping over as well, you get even shoe, you get even shoe gear wear on the opposite side of the, on on each side of the um, the train. I can't speak tonight. I'm really struggling to speak. Why am I struggling to speak, Mrs. Mumra? Because I'm tired. Apparently, I didn't wake up till about one o'clock today. It's really bad. Okay, guys, as time is running a bit short and uh, nobody's got the locomotive location livery yet. Post your numbers now for locomotive location. We better do another round of that. Hello, the weather studio. Hello. Oliver's Trains. My local station is Huddersfield. Ah, Connor, it was excellent. Hey, Big Bus One, welcome to Dad Row, new subscriber. Great to have you here. We've got a hundred and three of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, guys, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Keza, you are the third one on my screen with number fourteen. Let's play locomotive livery location. Okay, guys, going to give you number 14. You've got 10 seconds to give me the locomotive, livery, and location. That's a big tell there. That's <laughs> it's giving you something. Vine boom. It is indeed. Rafe the train spotter. Hashtag tired rail. Don't forget, guys, as well, if you want to get um, a little first-class ticket next to your name and you want your comments to get uh, priority in being read out and all the other benefits that go with it, you can become a member of the Deadborough channel. Um, membership packages start from just 99p. So do check out the description and all the stuff below for all that kind of detail-y type stuff. Um, David2008, 37 in BR at Euston. Fabian, isn't it a class 37? Connor Richards, class 40. Rowan plays, 37. Boeing, 82. Are you a trainer instructor for your company? You should be. You're a great teacher. Um, yeah, I, funny enough, Boeing, 82. I am what they call a mentor driver. So I, I take trainee drivers out with me and, um, and help them to learn. Very kind of you to say. Thank you. I'm normally better when I'm not tripping over my words. I'm really tripping over my words tonight, which is, which is annoying me. But very, yeah, very, very kind of you to say, Boeing, 82. Jonathan, BR Green, Class 37. Um, JG Photography, 37 Birmingham, New Street. Colas, 37 at Euston. LW Rail, new subscriber, welcome to Dead Rail. Uh, Sam Brooks, are you learning any new routes at the moment? Not at the moment, Sam, no. Oliver's Trains, welcome to Dead Rail. Yeah, not, not at the moment, Sam. I'm not currently learning anything. I've, there's a few routes that I've got on my... Um, 
my to learn list, but I'm not actively learning anything at the moment. We're currently in, um, we're currently in, oh, come on, 55, 55, 55. Bumpy for the passengers. I'm not taking tea and biscuits for that. We got there eventually. Yeah, we're currently in what's known as the season. So we're doing railhead treatment trains and then snow and ice treatment trains. So at my particular depot, we're very busy at the moment. So there, there isn't much availability for route learning. Um, but hopefully in the summer, I'll get a bit of route learning in. England Bull, we have just passed through Morley Tunnel. Thank you very much. Colin, you're going to be speeding. You called it, Colin. You got it. Railways, etc. Have you ever experienced a steam rail tour while driving? Yeah, many times railways. The... <laughs> when I drive passenger trains, it was always interesting if you were following a steam rail tour. Um, you'd know you were following a steam train, partly because they would be at, they would be uh, enthusiasts in cameras absolutely everywhere. But if you went into a tunnel, if you go into Seven Oaks Tunnel or, or Pole Hill Tunnel or, or anything like that down in the south, which is where I am, if you're following a steam train, you'll go in and the tunnel is just completely white and you can't see anything. Um, there are signals in those, those tunnels I've just mentioned as well. You just can't see anything in the tunnel, it's completely white. And the trouble is on, um, I used to drive Electrostar 375s as a passenger driver. The trouble is as well then, the air conditioning just sucks it all into the carriage and the smoke starts coming into the carriage. So if you go into the tunnel, you have to manually turn the air conditioning off before you go in. Um, just to stop all that steam, not smoke, steam um, being sucked into the carriage. But yeah, it's quite interesting. Sir uh, Kenchalot, trains with walkthrough doors at the front should be banned. Design all your trains to be shaped like mallard. Or should be scrapped. A lot of the reason the trains have got um, walkthrough doors at the front is so you can attach different units together. But also in the case of um, also in the case of like the 707s and the old 319s, the reason you've got a door at the front is because when you go into I think it's down the Moorgate branch, um, you're basically in a tunnel and you've got a wall on that side and a wall on that side. So having the doors at the front is the only way to evacuate the train by the, the doors at the front and back. Um, so that's why we have them. Uh, DT Trains, do you know the route between Croydon and Uckfield? Yeah, I certainly do. Uckfield, East Grinstead, um, Tattenham, Caterham, Croydon, London Bridge, Clapham, West Croydon. I sign all of those. They're, they're all on my route card. Uh, Little Jack going to pass Cottingley soon. Or tell people to hold their breath instead of turning the aircon off. Right, 30 over 50 warning boards. Uh, Rowan plays. What is your least favourite train to drive? Oh, Rowan. I, I don't think I've got a least favourite train to drive. All, all the trains I, I drive I like for different reasons. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've got a, what I'd say is a sort of a least favourite. Railways, etc. How many people are watching this whilst lying in bed right now? I'm not sure I can answer that question. Uh, yeah, Rafe, the train spotter. The aircon temperature is directly set by the computer. The driver's got no control over that. But what we could do was turn it on and off. Um, but when we turn it off, it'll only turn off for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, um, it'll override and turn itself back on. So yeah, that, that's that's the only power we had. We couldn't sort of change the temperature or anything like that on it. Um, it's, it's all preset in the depot. Right, we're down for the 25. We have not done locomotive location livery. We have not finished that. So I feel we're going to have to have a little drive in a pacer. Not a very long drive because I'm having Chinese tonight and Fat Richard needs to eat. And the frame rate coming in here is a terror. I am down to 14 frames per second. Wow, that, that, is, that is really something. Cameron Knowles, how many different types of trains have you actually driven? Cameron. Okay, officially, and I'm, I'm well aware that this is a uh, an internet stream that people can watch back. So officially, um, 
three seven fives, three seven sevens, three seven sixes, three nine fives, four six sixes, four six fives, uh, sixty sixes, sixty nines, seventy threes, and seventy three dash nines. Officially, uh, the unofficial list I'm not prepared to say <laughs> for obvious reasons. Hashtag fat route. That's the one, Maxwell. I am on a diet, though, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on a diet. It's a seafood diet. Seafood and eat it. No. Now, my, my theory with diets... My theory with diets... If I have half the calories, I can eat twice as much. That's, that's my theory. If I get a bar of chocolate and break it in half, it's only half the calories. And because it's only half the calories, I can have twice as much. Failing that, we'll have some dust. And you're probably all too young to have got any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> dust. Anybody? No. Dust. Go on. Do, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Uh, Rafe, no, I've never driven a 68 or an 88, but I would absolutely love to. Magic Killer, I spent most of my career as a train manager adjusting HVAC temperatures for customers on 390s. Was more guesswork than skill. I didn't know you could change them on the 390s. Yeah, we, we certainly couldn't on the Electra Stars. They were all preset. We, we could literally just turn it on or off. Uh, when, like I said, when we turned it off, all you could turn it off for was, was 20 minutes. Right, there's a uh, free car mark on the right there. We do have a red ahead. Is that a stop? Oh, there's an all board there. Let's use that one. So this is where you can get a visibility issue on the signal as well. And we are stopped. So we're going to set our DRA because we're going to do it properly. Full service brake uh, into neutral. And doors on the right hand side. Trying to catch up with your chat. Oh. DT Trains 43. Do drivers get the risk of blood clots because of sitting all day? Uh, I've never heard that one before, no. Not entirely sure. Never, never heard of that. Uh, Eliza, I'm looking for the mosquito flying around me for 100 I'm completely losing my Oh, no. Uh, Magic Killer. Dust is actually very low in fat. Magic Killer. Magic Killer's got it. <laughs> England Bull, there will be a new station on this line by the end of next year. White Rose, excellent. Uh, Supertram, please leave my last message. Do, 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 do. Post it again, Supertram, because I can't see it on there. Oh, there we go. Don't 375s have fire alarms, so you wouldn't have to turn off the AC when there is steam in tunnels. Yeah, it doesn't seem to trigger the fire. I think the, the fire detectors are done on heat um, rather than steam. So I, I think that's why it doesn't doesn't necessarily cause a problem. Uh, the ones in the toilet, however, they, they've got like their optical sensors. So if you spray deodorant cans in the toilets, it can set the fire alarms off, um, which is pretty bad. So guys, I almost feel like we need to carry on because we haven't done locomotive location livery. Um, I scored zero. That is pretty poor, isn't it? Oh, look at all those speeding. That has to be a bug. What? I lost 1,728 points in one go. That has to be, surely that has to be a bug. That, that really has to be a bug. That's, that's terrible. So I feel maybe, maybe we should just have a quick look at the pacer. You're seeing my really, really poor collection of routes now. Um, Why is it not showing? 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 Uh, career. Okay. 142 pacer. Uh, these are quite long runs. I don't want to do another 50 minutes because I've got to have a Chinese. Um, and Mumra will absolutely kill me. Mm -hmm. Let's let's jump in that one. We won't complete the run, but we'll do, we'll do about 20 minutes in that one. Just to have a look at the 142 um, and finish our game of locomotive location livery. Talking of which... Post your numbers now for locomotive Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to pay for my Chinese. So I, I do 
solemnly apologise. You are about to see an advert. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, hopefully you're back with me after the advert. Very sorry about the advert. Anybody know dust? They've got it, they've got it. Little Britain, classics, classics. Um, let's pause that and do locomotive location delivery. Right, what have we got? Um, do, 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 do. JG Photography, you are the third one on my screen with number 13. Let's play locomotive livery location. Okay, guys, I am going to give you box number 13. You have got 10 seconds to give me the locomotive livery and location. Ooh, might be a little clue as to the livery on that one. Do let me know. Do let me know what you're thinking on that. Little Jack got a purple bricks ad. Maxwell's using an ad blocker. Ah, oh, come on, Max. Dad Rao got her eat. <laughs> okay, so we're in the pacer. Which looks, from the outside, really quite nice. Um, I don't know if this is an AP pacer or whether this is just a standard train sim pacer. I've got no idea at all. You, you kind of have to just kind of... Yeah. I've got no idea how to drive a pacer as well. I'm guessing we need to put a key in somewhere. Where's the, where's the reverser hand? Oh, oh my. Okay. Forward. What have we got here? Cab heaters. Pacers are modern. Cab heaters. Right, let's open the doors. Uh, we need some lights as well, don't we, somewhere? Um, oh, there we go. Headlights. Destination light. On. Instrument lights. On. Um... Can we change the destination display on here? Oh, I've pressed a button. I don't know what I've done. He's wearing a southeastern uniform. The old southeastern uniform. Excellent. Okay. Alright, Huddersfield, where are we going? Let's press F1. Um, we're going to Slavewaite, Marsden, um, and Greenfield. Uh, then Mossley, Staley Bridge. We'll probably get down to Staley Bridge, guys, because that's 25, that's, yeah, 20 minutes-ish, 25 minutes to Staley Bridge. We'll get down to Staley Bridge and then we'll call it a night. Because um, my wife would be screaming at me in a minute. Okay, the brakes are still on. Okay, what's, what's happening? What have I done? Okay, okay, what have I done? Right, here we go. You don't drive a pacer, you ride it, and it's bounciness. <laughs> okay, that does... Oh, I'm still waiting for the main res pressure to come up. You are joking me. It's still pumping up. The compressor speed up is on. Come on, come on, brakes. Release, release, release. This is going to take a long time. It's a bus shell on a wagon, says Kev5565. It certainly is, Kev, it certainly is. Um, JG Photography, Dadrail, where is the Discord room for photos? So, guys, if you want to join our lovely Discord server, you can do. There's an invitation link in the description below. And you can post your pictures in the live stream um, pictures page. And then I'll put them up on the screen just like I've done there for you. Oh, we are moving. We are moving. Right, we are 30 mile an hour. I... Yeah, I, I, I don't... I don't like the kind of seating position. It's, it's almost like... It's almost like we should be sat a bit further forward. I feel like we're too far back. Two hours later. <laughs> uh, Sir Kenchelot, how many Electrostars could you theoretically 
theoretically connect together if you want to make a super long track. You could put as many together as you wanted, but they wouldn't move. That would, that would be the biggest problem with that. Um, eventually, you'd get to a stage where you just start drawing too much power. So, uh, routine operation, we use um, 12 cars, which is three units put together. I have had a 12 car made of four free car units before, and that works absolutely fine. Um, what tends to happen though is if you go for more than should we get some power in there? If you go for more than um, 12 carriages, the computers are not very happy, and the um, the amount of current you're drawing is not very happy. So if you're a, if you've got if you've got like a 12 car that's failed, and you're assisting it with another say 12 car um, to make a 24 car, you'll have to get fitters and engineers out, and they'll come around and start tripping out traction motors and tripping out computers and kind of. So although it's got more carriages, it's only got the same amount of equipment running as a 12 car. So they kind of they kind of have to do magic-y, funny things with it. But yeah, technically, I, I guess technically, you could put as many together as you wanted. It, it, it would work. It would work. Uh, Sam Brooks, yeah, I'll have a look for it, Sam, and do that. Not an issue at all. LW Rail, I don't understand why people hate paces. It's a very clever idea, and it was cheap. Yeah, it's like I've said before, I've, I've never had to endure paces, um, living, having the luxury of living down in the south where, um, you know, I, I, I know people from the north, railways in the south, they get all the funding, all the money and everything else. So yeah, I, I, I've never been in a situation where I've had to endure paces, fortunately, but I, I quite, my experience on paces when I have ridden them, I, I like them. Of course, we mustn't forget Wales and the west, you, you did have paces there as well. Maxwell would like a Star Wars. Ah, when I find the right buttons. Should we do it outside? Does it work outside? Ah, that's as good as I can do it, Max. Uh, Northern Princess Productions, it was a great, cheap idea, but an awful train. We'll see how good the brakes are in a minute as well, see if I can actually stop this. Uh, Maxwell, you had to say wheels. Uh, DT, game volume down a little bit. Yeah, no worries, we can do that. We can certainly do that. Let me know if that's any better. So what have we got? 3.15 miles to slave weight. Um, that's not too bad. Kev 5565, we were fobbed off with the things, a truly nasty thing and a joke in the works too. Wow. GJ, been on a GWR pacer, like riding a brick on a bouncy castle. <laughs> yeah. Especially over jointed track. Uh, Connor Richards, I can do baby shark with a train horn on simulator. That should be a TikTok, Connor. You, you need to put that on TikTok. Yeah, I just don't like the seating position. I feel like I should be sitting up a little bit higher and I should be a little bit further forward. Badoom, badoom. Press F6 to get rid of the train tag. Thank you, uh, Northern Princess Productions. Uh, TR9 train spotting. I was not on Free Whiskey 90 this morning. Um, I'm on nights for the rest of this week, unfortunately. I've, I've not done Whiskey 90 for uh, a couple of weeks now. Um, fortunately, because it is an absolutely horrible job <laughs> in the nicest possible way. I do quite like the route, though. There's a, there was a lot of negative reviews on Steam about this route, and I mean, I, I, I as you know, guys, I'm not, I'm not the greatest fan of Train Sim Classic. I am, I'm, I'm pretty much sold on Train Sim World, um, but I've really enjoyed driving this route. It's been really, really scenic and really well done. So. Yeah, I, I don't think I really agree with all the negative reviews on Steam about it. Um, yeah, I, like I say, it's not a local route to me. It's not a route I've ever travelled over, so I, you know, I can't tell you if it's accurate or not at all. I haven't got any idea. But yeah, from what I've seen of it, from as kind of a, a third-party perspective, if you like, not having any knowledge over the route, it, it's quite nice and quite nice to drive. So I do have the Armstrong Powerhouse Track and Sky Pack installed as well, um, which certainly does help a little bit. But yeah, it's. For, for me, it looks fine. Not a problem at all. Richard, the wipers are on. 
are they? They should be off. Right, okay. I've got a funny feeling the brakes on this are going to be really terrible. So, so let's kind of... We're going uphill, uh, which is to my advantage. Let's try not to overrun this. Unknown error! I'm from up north, so I've been on my fair share. They had character, and as a train nerd, I like the fact. General population hate them for poor, noisy ride. Yeah, I, I can believe it. I can believe it. They're going to be around for a long time to come on the heritage scene, though, aren't they? They're, they're, for a lot of heritage railways, they're, you know, they're a really good shout because they're pretty cheap to maintain, cheap to run. Um, and for sort of non-steam operating days, they're, they're, they're a pretty good unit. Dad Rao, the right-hand wiper. Have I done it? Is that off? I think that's off now. I think I think we have achieved what we set out to do. Okay, right. Station. Poor brakes. Short platform. Uphill. Autumn as well. Oh, crikey. Low adhesion season. We're coming in well. I'm coming in. I'm coming in cautiously because I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. Politically minded, the pacer represents a lack of government investment in the north. That's got to be on the platform, isn't it? Surely, should we keep going? Where's the stop car mark? It's right down the end of the platform. Wow. I know I didn't want to overshoot, but this is crazy. This is beyond crazy. Guys, I think I've solved the wiper problem on the second man side. Um, I will have another look when we come to a stand. There we go. All stopped. Um, that is in the off position. Yeah, it, look, it looks like they're not, they're not running. It looks like we, we have solved that little problem. Quite a nice model though, the, ex the external, the exterior model on this is really, really nice. I am liking it, I am liking it. Sam Brooks, if you coupled all the electric stars together, it would be 53 kilometres or 33 miles. Oh wow, interesting fact. Well, thanks Sam. Anthony Hunter, is it a bus? Is it a train? Is it a tram or a plane? No, it's the dreaded Pacer. I feel like we should do that in a kind of a Halloween fashion, you know. Yeah, this is going to work. Is it a bus? Is it a train? Should we start? <laughs> is it a bus? Is it a train? Is it a tram or a plane? No, it's the dreaded Pacer. <laughs> Screaming sound effects and everything. Right, we're off to Marsden. Not to be confused with Marden, which is in my neck of the woods. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Maxwell Wynn, you could walk from you could walk to London from Richard's house without getting off a train. Not quite, Maxwell. My my house is a bit further from London than that. <laughs> Eliza epic speech, thank you very much. <laughs> I think you can switch the cameras to the Ah Oh excellent. Thank you very much, Fabian, for that. Excellent. That's that's good to know. Very good to know. Back and forth. Away we go. Marsden in 2.24 miles. Little cringe, Richard. Yeah, I know. It was cringe, but... Maxwell Wind Shepherd, You are the third one on my screen. Locomotive location livery goes to you, my friend. Number 11. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. Gonna give you number 11, guys. 10 seconds. Let's get the locomotive livery and location. Ah, oh, it's probably confirmed your livery. Any ideas on that location, guys? Oh, 
Connor Richards, with every electro style coupled, you could walk from Fenchurch Street to Subaru Ness without getting off a track. Excellent. Excellent. The external model is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, is this, is this an AP pacer, guys, or is this a um, a train just a, just a standard train sim one? Be quite be quite interested to know. Uh, TR9 is going with Colas 37, railways etc. EWS livery. Rowan plays Colas 37. JG Photography, Connor Richards, both saying Colas 37. Little Jack says it's a network rail 37 at New Street. Uh, LW rail 37, Kings Cross, Rafe the train spotter. Colo Colas 37 GJ Barnard 37 at station it's certainly a station you're not wrong there right let's shut the power off coming up to Marston half a mile out uh, the gradients bring in the speed down quite nicely AWS for a 45. Nothing AP in it. Okay, I might might have to get the. Um, oh, I was a Dovetail Games pacer, so I might have to get the AP enhancement pack. We'll see if we can come in the station a little bit harder this time. You know, more more kind of train driver fashion, if you like. Is that the state? Come on, where's the platform? I can see a siding. Where's the platform? Coming in faster, he says, at 28 miles an hour. It, it's better than the previous station, though. Uh, Little Jack says, I live in Leeds, and it's not Leeds. We start going through what stations it's not. <laughs> it could, we could be here a longer time. Okay, guys, right, we are coming down nicely. Still way too slow. I mean, come on, that's that's really bad. Are we, are we a little two-car? Oh, no, we are a four-car. It's on the platform, though. We'll take it. It's on the platform. It's on the platform. Uh, I don't think AP do an enhancement pack, but they do do their own. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant, Rowan. Sorry, my bad. Um... Kev 5565, this is Train Sim Classic. We are on the uh, new Huddersfield route. So, we have got 94 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. It really does help the channel out. And if you want to support me further, you can do by becoming a channel member. Uh, membership packages from 99p. Join the Dadrail train crew. Click in the description below and all that kind of thing to find out all about that. We are off to Greenfield in 5.99 miles. Sandbrooks, if you undershoot a station, uh, you providing the signal in front of you is not red, Sam, you would just continue going. Um, so if I'm coming into a station and I stop before where I want to stop, Providing the signal at the end of the platform is showing a proceed aspect, I would simply put my head out the window, make sure nobody's hanging off the side of the train, and then just pull the train up to the relevant um, relevant stop marker. If, however, the signal at the end of the platform is red, and I've come to a stand, I need to call the signaller up and get permission to make that move. The reason you do that when the signal's red is because the signaller could plan to have another train in on top of you, like permissive working, where you have two trains on the same platform. So the signaller may have seen, if you've got a signal box local or CCTV, the signaller could have seen that you've come to a stand and then signalled another train to come in the other end of the platform. So that's why if you've got a red signal, you'd always phone up and get permission to, to, before you make that move. We have the signals at the end of the platform showing a proceed aspect. Happy days, just move your train up to the correct stopping point. Um, and yeah, that, that wouldn't even be tea and biscuits with the manager, really. Right, 45 going up to 85. We've got 100% power in. We're just going to leave it there. I think we're going to be clear of the... Yeah. That's fine. We're, we're clear. We're no speeding. Yeah, Kev5565. Um, open BVE was and still is fantastic. I need to get that back on the channel. 
yeah, little Jack, yeah, um, occasionally. I do need to get that back on the channel. I do, I do definitely need to. Uh, Ray for train spot. Sent some photos in Discord. Thank you very much. Uh, do you mean sent them to me or posted them, Ray? Let's play locomotive livery location. That was me pressing the wrong button there, guys. I went for the Discord. Well, hey, we have got uh, an 80, oh, 68 at the top and some Transport for Wales Northern type thingies that I can't remember what they're called. Somebody help me out. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, you can join our Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Very friendly community over there, and we're in the live stream pictures page. Right, I'm going to press this one on purpose. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. And Anthony Hunter, could you please do a creative 20 tone on the next departure? JG Photography, what Chinese are you going to get tonight? I'm going to go to one local to me called Peking Garden. Which is not far from St. Leonard's Warrior Square train station. Um, I think I'm going to have... What are we having? We're having... No, we're not having everything. I'm just consulting with my wife. We're having egg fried rice. Um, chicken balls. Sweet and sour chicken balls because they're nice. Sesame seed prawn toast. Um, special chow mein. Beef and mushrooms and black bean sauce. Might get some ribs or some ducky pancakes. Might get a tiger beer. Might treat myself to a tiger beer. I might. Oh, maybe I won't. Mum Rouse. Mum Rouse says no. Mum Rouse says no. <laughs> okay, who have we got for locomotive location delivery? We've got Little Jack with number 12. Let's play locomotive livery location. Okay, guys, gonna give you number twelve. You got ten seconds to give me the locomotive livery, and most importantly at this stage, the location. Any ideas? And thank you very much to the person in the chat, E233, who told me there was a 60 ahead, because I had missed it. Uh, Maxwell, Dabrow, can you do a stream on the backdated train sims at 1066 line Hastings to Tunbridge? I know that route like the back of my hand, Max, so that seems like, you know, that seems like I definitely should do that one. I definitely should. Ah, oh, that's you on the live photo, Rafe, excellent. Connor Richards, Colas 37, Little Jack, Colas Class 37, Birmingham New Street. Rowan plays, Colas Class 37, don't know the location. Colas 37, oh the location seems to be seems to be troubling people on this one. We do seem to be struggling with that location, guys. Because we've only got a few minutes left as well. One and a half miles to Greenfield. I am going to help you with the location. Let's play locomotive livery location. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the whole of the top line just to see if it helps you with that location. Well, that should be an outside shot for sure. Wow. Any idea on that location? Come on, guys. Any idea? Tiger Train says Derby. Connor Richards, I don't know. TR9 says Derby. TR9 also says Reading. Northern Princess Productions is going for Reading. Uh, LWL, Curtis Class 37 at somewhere in the North Midlands. It's not the North Midlands. It is... <laughs> yeah, I, could, I could give it away. I could give it away. Tonight's picture has been provided by a train spotter from Berkshire. Who is actually incidentally not in the chat. Um, the, the station in question is in said county. Right, 
right, let's try not to overrun Greenfield. I'm, I'm trying to, purposely trying to come in a bit faster here to make it look like I'm half professional and I know what I'm doing. Um, Craig Hughes goes Derby. Oh, this is almost looking like a better stop. Still way too slow, but we'll take it. Uh, Sam Brooks says Digcott. South East Rail Productions, 37099 Reading. Northern Princess, cool Reading. <laughs> I think I've given it away, guys. I think I've given it away. He's looking at his watch. Come on. Come on. I, I can tell you a funny story about someone looking at their watch that happened to me this week. Where is Berkshire? Berkshire. Boring Berkshire. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. Oh, I think it's time to do a reveal, guys. I think quite a few people have got this right. Well, <laughs> bit of a challenging one this evening. Bit of a challenging one on the location. But, yeah, there, there are a couple of people who have got this. Connor Richards, you're completely correct there. TR9, you got it a bit earlier on Northern Princess Productions. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. As you said, guys, that is a Colas Class 37, and I am pleased to say that is at Reading. Congratulations to everybody who got that right. Bit of a challenging one tonight. And don't forget, guys, if you want to send me any pictures for locomotive location livery, you can do. You can send them via my social media channels, which are on the screen for you right now. Or you can send them to me as a direct message through the Discord server. And you'll find an invitation link for that in the description below also. So we've got Mossley and then Staley Bridge. And that is us for tonight. So coming up live stream wise guys, I'm probably not going to get another stream in this week because I'm working nights all week. Um, and daytime streams don't tend to sort of go down too well especially lots of people are back at school and back at work and back at college and that sort of thing so daytime streams um, during the week sort of don't tend to go down too well so for this week I think it's a bit of a write-off for me unfortunately 47 247s um, going forward next week I've got absolutely no idea what I'm going to be working because that is the nature of driving freight trains so we'll have to wait and see um, you may have seen as well, I've started putting out some uh, cab view videos, some like cab view route learning type um, video bits and bobs. So there's currently one on there, Acton to Purley. Part one takes you as far as Herne Hill via the West London lines. Um, part two of that will be coming out, uh, be the early part of next week, I'd imagine, depending on how much time I get on the computer to um, sit down and edit that. So that'll be coming out soon. I've also got the signaling videos, uh, absolute block signaling, PTS, loads and loads of other stuff on my drawing board to do uh, but like I said to you earlier we are now in the um, the winter roster at work um, which means I end up I work a lot more in the winter due to the railhead treatment trains and the snow and ice treatment trains uh, in the win um, coming up in a few months time so my, my amount of spare time at the moment is limited unfortunately but I will try and get as much out as much content out as I can um, I don't want to release content just for the sake of releasing content, so I sort of still want to make sure that it's uh, it's still up to, up to the usual standard. Now, whether that standard's any good or not, I'll let you be the judge of. Um, but yeah, well and truly up to the usual standard. And um, with regards to Roblox streams as well, I'm having trouble getting everyone back into the private server. As soon as I do six people, add six people to the private server, Roblox kicks me out and tells me I have to wait about half an hour for it to let me do anyone else. So I am slowly working through the list, and once I've got that back up and running, um, we'll do another Roblox uh, SCR stream. And GCR, and there's a couple of other ones that people have asked me to jump into. Uh, the next, when I do do the next stream, I think we're going to be back in Train Sim Classic, and I want to do West Coast over Shap, because a lot of people have asked me to do that, and I've been told it's a very, very good, pretty route, and the um, 86 is quite an interesting locomotive to drive with the tap changing. So um, that that will be coming. Uh, that will probably be the next live stream. It's a, it's a route I don't have, and it's a route that Dovetail won't give to me for free. So I've got I've got to um, buy that one myself. But I'm I'm told it's worth it.
Where's the stop mark? Right at the end of the platform. Ah, that's close enough. We're on the platform. We're going to take that. The Weather Studio. Hello again. Rafe, the train spot. The... What am I pressing to make the wipers come? I must be knocking something to make the wipers come on. I'm not doing it intentionally, that's for sure. So we're going to do one more station. We're going to go down to um, Staley Bridge, and that is going to be it for us today. Because the, I, the Chinese stops delivering. Right, we're good. Staley Bridge in 2.68 miles. Let's go, go. I realise what I'm pressing now. I'm pressing N for the horn because I've been playing Train Sim uh, well too much. So I'm pressing M, uh, N for the horn, which is turning the wiper on. There we go. Southeast Rail Productions. Overshap is good for testing your steam driving skills. Ah, Sam Brooks, what's the story you were going to tell us at the last station? Right. So this week I was tasked with taking um, locomotives for maintenance between St. Leonard's Depot and Tunbridge. The direct route that we normally take via Tunbridge Wells is closed for engineering works. So we've been going via the Marsh Link um, through Rye. So those of you who know the Marsh Link will know that it's a single track line and Rye is the passing place where two trains pass. So we arrived at Rye, I say we because I had a trainee with me, um, Twitter, at Propaganda, um, check out her Twitter feed, she's a uh, female freight train driver who works with me, at Propaganda on Twitter. Um, so we, we turned up at Rye and the signal at the end of the platform to take us onto the single line section was red. And the level crossing was down. So. We automatically assumed, as any reasonable person would, that we're waiting for a train to come off the single line section, and being that the level crossing's down, that train must be on its way into the station. We've got a passing place in the station. So I jumped out the cab, as did my trainee who was with me. We jumped out the cab, and started taking pictures of the locomotives at the station. It was a lovely moody sky behind us, it was sunset, it was beautiful, took lots of pictures. Ah! Let's finish the story. We'll worry about the train in a minute. Took lots of pictures. Anyway, we turned around and the signal was green. Now, I was expecting another train to come off the single line section, so I wasn't expecting that signal to change. Now, I don't know how long the signal was green for. The signal might have been green for a good couple of minutes, but we jumped in the cab and started moving. And as we went over the level crossing, there was some guy at the level crossing looking very cross, tapping his watch like that. So I, I, I kind of think that the signal might have been green for a couple of minutes, and they, you can see the station from the level crossing. So these people probably just saw us taking pictures of the train while they were playing at the barriers. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not for my picture taking, that's for the... Um... Come on, why am I getting no power? We're still in forward, we're not in forward. Okay. Right, it's working. It's working. Rage rail. <laughs> yeah, so to, to, the, to the person and people at the level crossing, I do apologise. Yeah. We, we were probably there for a good three or four minutes taking pictures. So the, the signal had been off for that long. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm, I'm completely innocent. I was expecting I was expecting a train to come in in the opposite direction. That's why I wasn't looking at the signal. Hey, British Ace Joe, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, bud. That was almost another AWS there. Okay, one flashing yellow. Hashtag fat rail. 
Uh, Weather Studio, is this the first time you've driven a Pacer? Uh, yes, it is, I believe. I don't think I've jumped in the Pacer before. Yeah, trades well from Berkshire. There, there are arguments to, to um, double track it, and it's something that our local MP, Sally Ann Hart, or Sally Ann No Hart, depending on your political alliances, uh, has been um, looking to do for quite a long time. So it's it's something that has been spoken about. It would be beneficial. It's a very very busy route. Um, funny enough, that the why is my banner repeater still on? My last signal was my last signal was one flashing yellow. Why is the banner repeater on? Did I miss a signal? I must have missed a signal somewhere. Yeah, so it's something that has been spoken about. I have got one one static yellow with a brute indicator. I have, so why was the banner repeater showing on? I don't know, that's strange. Never mind. Try not to stop on the AWS magnet. Three on the floor. There we go. Open the door. And there we go. We are all stopped. Doors are open. At Staley Bridge. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. As I said earlier, we are going to call it there. Let's get my head out of the cobwebs. We are going to call it there. That is going to be the end of tonight's stream because I have to get some Chinese because Mum Rao's giving me daggers. If you could see the look on her face behind me, you'd know that I'm in quite a lot of trouble. <laughs> I do hope you've enjoyed the stream, guys. It's absolutely great to be back doing streams and all that. Thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, I quite like this route. There's a lot of negative reviews on Steam, but I, I you know, from my point of view, I, I think it's quite good. Um, but I've got no knowledge. I don't know how accurate it is. I don't know anything like that. I'm purely driving it from a, a complete outsider perspective. But I really do like it. So, guys, if you want to follow me on social media, you can do social media channels on the screen for you right now. There we go. That sort of thing. Hidden behind my pumpkin. And if you want to join our Discord server, it would be absolutely great to see you over there. There is a link to that in the description below. And if you want to support me further, you can do by becoming a Dadrail member. Join the Dadrail train crew. Um, from 99p a month and you'll find some information about that in the description below hope to see you in the next stream ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna press my button to end the stream now and I'm also gonna press the advert button up here because fat dad Brown needs to eat <laughs> and I need to buy West Coast over Shaps so that's a good reason to put an advert in there we go thank you very much for watching guys hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you oh the Halloween stuff's disappeared that's interesting I hope to see you in the next stream very soon. Thank you for watching.